Your wife said she wants to separate and you're starting to panic. Or maybe you're already separated and you're really missing your wife and suffering from separation anxiety. Well, brother, if either of these are the cases, you're in the right place. Because today I'm going to be giving you the four steps you need to implement to eradicate anxiety and start taking steady steps forward in the reconciliation process. Now, if we haven't met each other before, my name's Luke Finn, and I've helped hundreds of dads avoid divorce and reconnect with their wife. Now, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and smash the bell button to be notified each Tuesday when I release a new video. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video to get the opportunity to enroll in my free masterclass. In the masterclass, I'm going to be teaching you the secret to reconciliation that no one else is talking about and the four steps that you need to take for your wife to see your change. With all that being said, let's dive right in. So first off, let's look at the three reasons you're experiencing separation anxiety. The first one is you want hope, right? You're looking for signs of hope from your wife that it's going to be possible to reconcile. So maybe she's been speaking to your mother-in-law about summer holidays and you find out about it and you start thinking, okay, well, you know, she's planning about planning summer holidays with us as a family, so she can't be completely done, right? And the thing is about hope is there's days where you'll see hope and you feel like you're going making progress and it feels great. And then there's days where she says she's done and you plummet down. So you end up being on this emotional roller coaster. So when you're completely fixated on hope, um, it changes from day to day on the during the reconciliation process. So um, you, it can slow you down. And the thing is, guys, there's plenty of signs that you can reconcile with your wife. But because you haven't gone through this before, you don't have that experienced, trained eye to actually look out for those signs of hope. So what I've actually done is I've created a different training, which I'll link up above, which are the, covers the seven secret signs that your wife does, in fact, still love you. So let's give you that hope. Then number two, the second reason you're experiencing separation anxiety is you want certainty. Guys, you've been literally hard, hardwired to look for certainty. It's just the nature of us being humans and especially of being men. Uh, we're hardwired to look for certainty, to look for safety, right? And the thing is, now you don't have that. Your routines have been completely changed. You had your family uh, life. You had the routines, being around the kids. And now because she says she wants a separation, there's lots of other things that you need to now organize. Where are you going to live? Uh, whose visitation rights with the kids? Who's looking after the kids? Which days? Uh, our divorce paper is going to be served. There's all this uncertainty and this drives your mind crazy because our minds do not like having these uh, like open loops. We'd like to have closed loops as in you'd like to know certain, you'd like to have certainty, you'd like to know what's going to happen and you can reconcile guys. There is a proven process to reconciliation which I'm going to cover at the end of this video but to give you more certainty what I'm going to do is I'm going to link up another video up above. Check it up there. It's the four phases on the road to reconciliation so you can feel certain about the steps that you need to take to reconcile because that's really important. Important On the road to reconciliation, you need to find that certainty within yourself. Now, the third step is you want validation. So she's literally told you the reasons that she's checked out of the marriage. Maybe it was your anger. Maybe you were being jealous. Maybe you were emotionally unavailable. There's loads of reasons that she might have checked out of the marriage. And you find out about them, right? And um, what you start doing is then you've listened to her. You're a smart man. You start then taking steps to show her that you've changed. So if she told you um, you were emotionally disconnected, you start sharing from your heart, telling her more, looking for those deep conversations. And the thing is, she's done, right? She, she's really done at this point, And it doesn't help when you start sharing from your heart. It just comes across needy. And the thing is, when you're looking for validation the whole time, you're looking for her to say, hey, well done, you know, good job. I see your change and, and let's get back together. When you are looking and completely focused on validation from her, you water yourself down. You're a strong, independent, magnetic man. And you've been watering yourself down trying to please your wife. And when you have all these so, uh, three reasons for uh, separation anxiety, when you put them all together, what can happen is you end up kind of acting out like a, what I call as the show pony. This is the biggest mistake that you can make, guys, when your wife says she wants to separate, is you become a show pony. So you start like showing up more around the house, helping out more. So doing more chores around the house, looking after the kids more. And you're not doing it because you want to change and become that strong magnetic man that you really are. You're not like doing the inner work that's required to reconcile with your wife. You're just becoming a show pony. You want to show her that you've changed. So you're doing all these different things, right? And let me know in the comments, guys, have you done any of these actions before to try and show her that you've changed? Looking after the kids more, uh, cleaning up around the house, uh, buying her gifts, uh, trying to have more of these conversations with her where you open up, right? 
And the thing is, this just comes off really needy. She's already further along, guys. You can't use these tactics to reconcile with her, but you can reconcile with her, but you need to use a different process, all right? So do not be a show pony when your wife says she wants to separate. Now, now with the, all that being said, guys, uh, you now know the reasons why you're having separation anxiety. You now know what you should not do. Let's look at the four steps you need to implement to eradicate the uh, anxiety that you're currently feeling. Now, number one, guys, is exercise. A real simple one. Get out there and exercise. Go out into nature. Nature is so healing. Go out and go for a walk along a river or in the forest or wherever it is, what's around you. Get out into the nature. It doesn't have to be long, guys. I know you're a busy man, but take 10, 15 minutes a day to get out there, breathe in the fresh air. And this is going to help your nervous system to calm down because you're under a lot of stress at the moment, okay? And definitely get to the gym. Go and do those weights. Work those muscles, guys. Get out there. Get a good sweat on. You're going to start to feel really good. And um, get those endorphins to feel good again, guys, that you're not looking to her so much for validation. You start feeling good yourself. And this is a common step that most men do when the wife says she wants to separate or a divorce is get into the gym and lose the weight, right? Now, the second step is get enough sleep. So uh, we all need to get sleep. And when you're dealing with uh, anxiety and stress, it's really important that you get enough sleep. And we're all a little bit different. I'm like a big baby. I need eight hours sleep every night uh, or I'm, I'm cranky uh, during the day. Uh, but everybody's a bit different. I've worked with a client who he literally just needed two or three hours a night and he was fine. So you know how much sleep you need to get. It's really important that you get that sleep. Now, you might say to me, Luke, that's easy to say, but I've got this anxiety. I can't fall asleep. Don't worry. Stick around to the end. We're going to get, I'm going to teach you how to get rid of that anxiety so you can fall asleep. All right. The third step is eat and drink properly. Also really important. Let me know in the comments. Are you drinking coffee? Are you drinking alcohol? If you are, cut that out altogether. Coffee and alcohol will just, you know, increase the anxiety. Uh, you need to cut that out. And if coffee is a big problem to cut it out, just reduce it a little bit. You'll see the effects and then eradicate it, guys. And also with the alcohol, you're using it for escapism uh, to try and get away from this problem. But notice how you feel the next day. You're not escaping from anything. Guys, you need to dial yourself in here and focus on yourself. Cut out alcohol, cut out um, coffee and eat and drink properly, get a good meal, get good meals into you. Uh, I know if you're feeling anxious that you might actually have stopped eating, it's important that you start eating again and drink plenty of water, guys. This is gonna help you move through this process more gracefully. And the fourth step that you need to do is actually release the anxiety, right? It's there and up until this point, nobody's really taught you how to get rid of anxiety. So there's the steps you've definitely heard of exercise before and these other steps. Well, and there's things out there like meditations and I've used lots of different modalities to help my clients release the anxiety. The ones that I found most effective though is it's called EFT and it stands for emotional freedom technique. And it's a technique for you tapping into your own subconscious and releasing the anxiety because your mind basically feels like your life is in threat because there's so much uncertainty at the moment. You really believe so subconsciously that you're and you're acting out of feeling like your life's a threat. And so when you keep acting out of that, guys, you're creating there's all this anxiety in your life. And the thing is, guys, I know you're having a tough time, but your life is not under threat, right? You are actually safe. You're going through a big crisis. It's not nice. And I'm going to do what I can here to get you out of it as soon as possible. But you're actually safe. And by using this technique, this EFT technique, you tap through these emotions and you release them. You uh, work with your subconscious saying, hey, you know, when this happens, when Sarah says she's done, I'm okay. And by tapping through these different points on your body, we release that anxiety and you become free. You feel empowered and you're freed up to take the steps you need to take to reconcile with your wife as an empowered, strong, magnetic man. All right. Now, with all that being said, I promise you to give you the opportunity to enroll in the free masterclass. In the free masterclass, guys, you're going to get to start that process of releasing anxiety so you can attract your wife back into the marriage. And guys, in this masterclass, I literally teach you how to do this tapping technique, this EFT. I teach it in this masterclass so you can release anxiety straight away. If you're feeling this, go and enroll in this, pro, in, in this masterclass right now. You'll find the link down in the, in the description. You're also going to get the secret to reconciling with your wife that nobody else is talking about and the four steps you need to take for her to see your change immediately. So check out the link. It's down in the description. Enroll today and eradicate that anxiety so you can start making progress in your marriage today. And finally, if you haven't done already, I want to invite you to join my marriage support group for dads. This is a free Facebook group filled with a wonderful community of dads. 
who are committed to avoiding divorce and reconnecting with their wife. The link is down in the description. Click on it, enroll in, my, in the group, and I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you've got any questions at all, post them down in the comments. And let me know, guys, what have you been trying so far to get rid of that separation anxiety? And if you found this video useful, do me a favor, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and smash the bell button to be notified each Tuesday when I release a new video. Now, with all that being said, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.